Greetings, fellow history detectives. Put on your time-traveling aprons because we're about to whip up a batch of knowledge souffle. Our star ingredient today? Homo habilis, the handiest hominin in the prehistoric pantry. Forget stand-up comedy. These folks were the true escape artists of the ancient world. So, without further ado, let's dive in. The Prehistoric Renovations Maestro Our story begins around 2.4 million years ago in the tantalizing landscapes of East Africa. Picture this era as a never-ending home improvement show with Homo habilis as the hosts. But before we dive into their home improvements antics, let's discuss their name. Homo means man and habilis means handy in Latin. So we're basically dealing with handyman man, the Bob Vila of prehistory, master craftsman of stone tools. Homo habilis wasn't your average couch potato. They rolled up their sleeves or more accurately, hitched up their animal skins and got to work. These hominins revolutionized the game with the introduction of stone tools. Think of them as the OG DIY enthusiasts, fashioning everything from cutting tools to scrapers. Homo habilis was so skilled with stone tools that they could have given a TED talk on the art of flawless flint napping. Their tool making skills were no joke. While others were still gnawing on bones, Homo habilis was carving out a niche as the MacGyver of the ancient world. Imagine them opening coconuts with a stone, and you'll realize that they were the original foodies with a flair for convenience. Mastering the Two-Legged Tango Homo habilis might not have been Olympic sprinters, but they were the first hominins to embrace the bipedal lifestyle. They ditched the knuckle-dragging routine for a more upright posture, though they probably stumbled more than your uncle at the family barbecue. Their bipedalism wasn't about winning marathons. It was about freeing up their hands for more important tasks, like tool-making and high-fiving fellow Homo habilis buddies. Sure, they might have resembled a walking bag of elbows and knees, but they got the job done. Craving Carnivorous Capers While Homo habilis might have started the culinary revolution with stone tools, their diet wasn't all salads and smoothies. They weren't afraid to sink their teeth into a juicy piece of meat. Imagine them as the original paleo dieters, dining on a mix of plants, fruits, and the occasional critter. Homo habilis' first attempt at meat-eating was probably less like fine dining and more like a prehistoric version of man versus food. Their willingness to explore the world of meat-eating was like opening a new chapter in an epic saga of hominin cuisine. Picture them sharing hunting stories around the prehistoric campfire. You won't believe the size of this mammoth I wrestled last night. Cue the laughter and high fives. Homo habilis's recipe for evolutionary success. Let's talk brains. Homo habilis had a brain that was larger than their predecessors, but still not exactly Einstein's territory. It was more like a compact car in the world of sedans. However, their enhanced brain power allowed them to navigate the complexities of tool making and meat eating with finesse. Their cognitive abilities opened doors to innovation and adaptability. Homo habilis had the brain power to make things happen, to turn rocks into Swiss army knives, and to transform the dinner menu from bland to gourmet. In the culinary world, they were the first celebrity chefs even if the Michelin Guide wasn't around to give them stars. The Social Network of Homo Habilis Homo Habilis wasn't just a solo act. 
Fossil evidence suggests they lived in small social groups where they probably exchanged recipes and tool-making tips. Imagine a prehistoric potluck with Homo habilis bringing the latest stone tools as party favors. Their fossils have been discovered alongside those of other ancient hominin species, suggesting they were the life of the prehistoric party, mingling with neighbors like Australopithecus africanus and Homo erectus. It's like they hosted the first ever cooking show with a live studio audience. The Puzzling Departure of Homo Habilis Homo habilis eventually took a bow and exited the prehistoric stage. They vanished from the fossil records around 1.4 million years ago, leaving behind tools, bones, and a whole lot of culinary inspiration. But what brought down the curtain on their act? Did they finally perfect their time-traveling stone tool and venture into the future for culinary school? Or perhaps they had a culinary feud with Homo ergaster over the best way to roast a mammoth. In reality, the reasons for their disappearance remain shrouded in mystery, like an unsolved recipe that's missing a secret ingredient. <laughs>